Ragnarok was as inviting as a headache, flickering and flashing to a machine gun beat. The belly of the nightclub was a gothic theme park that began with bondage games and led to the nasty stuff from there. As subtle with its dark message as a cop killer bullet through the heart. Like father, like son. Just like Jack Lupino. Uh, I want some health, want some health, want some health. Uh, so that's nothing. Uh, this is going to be interesting, isn't it? I should save my Ingrams, go back to my doubles. Is it as simple as... Nope. Maybe, actually. Security switch. What did the security switch? Security. Where did that come from? I got shot it up by something. Okay, where did you come? It's in here. Okay, we now know what's behind door number one. A goon. I outshotgunned him. Yay me. The book had never been a bestseller. Painkillers. Given the setting, I was surprised to find that somebody had been passing time reading. The paperback was entitled, The Age of Murder and Storm. The blurb on the back mentioned Norse mythos and Ragnarok, the end of a Viking world with a terrible winter that covered the earth in ice, when vile crimes were rampant and all humanity lost. I could see how somebody impressionable might get it into their head that we were at the end of time. I was also beginning to see what the nightclub and its owner were all about. Uh-huh. Ooh. Nice lot of ammo for shit. There he is! Okay. Any more for any more? Ow, 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 trying to set me on fire. Uh, this isn't good.
Okay, so we have a dude around there. And my gut's saying I should like try and do that. But I'm totally not sure. I'm not sure doing a save game right now would be beneficial. Uh, no one there. Okay. Three guys. Doubles. Oh, pain medicine! Yay! Feeling more human. Less dead. Books on the occult had been piled on the table. The room was stacked with light reading, such as Necronomicon, Witchcraft, and Paradise Lost. Old exotic titles like Malleus Malficarum and De Umbrarum Rainy Novum Portis. Books with pentagrams on their covers, all dealing with the occult and the infernal, lying between stacks of horror videos and a couple of Ouija boards. The only thing I could take seriously was the thought of Lupino taking it seriously. He had been spending a lot of time getting intimate with the guy downstairs. Mm. So, we're dealing with a guy that's... Not quite working off of a full deck. Ah, I thought it'd be a button. Uh, I see a problem with this stairs. People like to throw grenades down them. Oh shit. Okay. Uh, nope, no such luck in regards to um health stuff again. So we get across here. I don't think you open. So did I miss something over here? Is this the way I came? Yes. Uh, this could be problematic. How many of those? 25. Really? That's what I can do here. Set off pyrotechnics. Okay, door number two. Goes up. That's barred. Well, with Dino and all, I wouldn't say anything to his face. He might not. But who knows what he'd do? Yeah, somebody's got to go in there. It's too freaky. All the screaming. I mean, it's been three days now. Now look at me. Hell no, I ain't got no that wish. I'm just saying it gives me the creeps, especially now. It's gone all quiet in there. You guys finished talking? Q. 
god. Got them all. Oh, look, the money's going. Oh. Oh, shit. That's an Ingram sound. Ha. So some ammo. What keeps opening and closing? Ah, it was just two guys. I miscounted. This looks promising. Ah! Yep, that looked promising. Ah! Hey. Ooh. Ooh, ah, e. Oh, shot to the nut. And he's not okay. I gave him lead poisoning. Ooh, ooh. Uh, this can't be good for me. Going in the right direction. Going in the right direction. I'm surprised I haven't run into a baddie yet. Oh god. Uh -huh, we'll go this way, it looks safer. Uh, let's hit the save button. Okay. Not great. I'm running out of ammo for shit, which means... Shotgun time. Short control bursts. Uh huh. Ah, uh, painkillers, that's what I need the most. So we'll let that. Oh, God. Okay, so I'm now only healed up to my kneecaps. Because it was a trap. It was a trap. Okay, let's 
See how much of a trap. Bandy stuff. He could play. Karaoke never was my scene. Oh, I can't play guitar though. Uh -huh. Thank you. Wanted my legs. Uh huh. Done, you guys. I just got healed. Chance and something useful. Ooh. Oh, I see. Do that one. Okay, someone's screaming. Did he just fall off? I think he did. The backstage area led to Lupino's inner sanctum. The hot air inside was like an invisible wall, thick with incense and something else. A sickly sweet smell that made you gag. This was the rotten core of the Big Apple. Lupino lurked somewhere ahead, like a spider at the center of his web, waiting. The vapors in the air started to make my head swim. Torn pieces of a letter lay scattered on the sofa. Well, we have things to... Oh, no. It must be you. You. Oh. Punchinello had threatened Lupino in writing. The note had been torn to pieces, bloody fingerprints all over them. Don't want you to think that one of my boys is not playing with a full deck. Shape up, Jack. We are running a business here. I'd hate to send the trio to strong arm you. The trio were the Don's notorious henchmen. It was obvious that Lupino hadn't been intimidated by the threat. Okay, anything else for me? Covered the table. Jack Lapino was crazy, all right. The table was scattered with notes of demented arcane nonsense written in rusty blood. A mishmash list of demons, devils, and dark gods evoked. Beelzebub! Asmodeus! Baphomet! Lucifer! Loki! Chitulu! Lilith! Hela! Blood given to you all. He was after that old Faustian deal, your soul for power and fortune. 
just sign in the dotted line with your blood. That never works out. The notebook lay on the pedestal. Jack Lapino was crazy, all right. Mythic wolves let loose to devour the sun and the moon. Lupino is the wolf. I'm Mr. Beast, the big bad Fenris wolf. I'm the end of the world man, wearing the flesh of fallen angels. After Y2K, the end of the world had become a cliche. But who was I to talk? A brooding underdog Avenger alone against an empire of evil, out to right a grave injustice. Everything was subjective. There were only personal apocalypses. Nothing is a cliche when it's happening to you. Right, save at that point. That way I don't have to do any of that again. The flesh of fallen angels come to me all. Astaroth, Beelzebub, Asmodeus, Baphomet, Lucifer, Loki, Satan, Jadula, Lilith, Ella. Blood to you all. <laughs> Secret living under the skin of reality. I've seen it. The corruption of flesh. You're quite mad, aren't you? I'm the wolf. Yeah. I am the wolf. It's close. It's coming. You have come. A witness to the end of time. It's now. I will rise to her side. I don't need the words. I'm beyond the words. Are you finished? So I'd like to do that at this point. Oh, I am well and truly boned. Okay, let's use those immediately. Ingram armor. Your Ingram's at the go. Okay. We haven't triggered anything yet. Let's try for a jaunt across here. be battling my way up somehow. Whoa! That's not kind. How does one go up? My gut says somewhere over here. I 
I'd known there'd have to be a catch in it somewhere, and this one was the Empire State Building of catches. Levino was pumped up and dying to go 15 rounds with a mutant alligator. And then he started this spooky monkey talk, straight from a bad dream. Mine. I have tasted the flesh of fallen angels. I've tasted the devil's green blood. It runs in my veins. I've seen beyond a world of skin. The architecture of blood and bow and arrow. Death is coming. She is coming. And hell follows with her. This is the twilight winter. I am ready to be her son. <laughs> her time is now. And all who stand in her way must die. <laughs> <laughs> You'll die! You'll <laughs> die! Now! Oh! Uh, save! Move! real sure he'd stay that way. V was a bad monster. Turned them into friggin' zombie demons from outer space. I think he's dead already. Huh? And that's when it happened. For dead or not, you've got the wrong guy. In stepped this knockout femme fatale holding a gun to my face. I returned the favor. Lisa Punchinello. Lisa Punchinello was the Don's wife. Mona Sachs. Lisa's evil twin. Your safety's off, evil twin. You might hurt someone with that gun of yours. Lisa's the damsel in distress. I'm the professional. I'd blow you away without batting an eye. Sure, and you can check out my credentials splattered all over this joint. Jack couldn't have framed you. Not the state he was in. We're after the same slime bag. Angelo Quincinello's the one who murdered your friend and framed you with it. You know this for a fact. I've got my sources. I don't have a clue these days. I just shoot them as they come. Who put a contract on the Archfiend? This one's mine. I hate the guts of that sadistic wife beater. Why not pool our bullets for this one? I thought you'd never ask. My finger was starting to twitch. How do you like your whiskey? I'm easy, as long as you don't try to slip me a Mickey. You're a real angel, Max. It was good stuff. Tasted sweet as honey going down. Nothing personal. Can't risk you going berserk and getting Lisa killed. Uh, 